Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Walk Among Heroes channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating location that played a crucial role during World War II, Point de Hoc. For those seeking to understand the strategic importance of this site during the battle, and the significant events that took place there, this video is for you. Before we delve into the details of Point de Hoc, it's essential to grasp the broader context of the Battle of Normandy. In 1944, on D-Day, a historic operation unfolded, Operation Overlord, and Point de Hoc played a significant role in that chapter of history. Now, let's focus our attention on Point de Hoc. This strategic location featured steep cliffs of 100 feet, providing a unique defensive advantage. During the invasion, capturing these cliffs was essential to ensuring the success of the Allied operation. The protagonists of this narrative were the U.S. Army's 2nd Ranger Battalion under the command of Lieutenant Colonel James E. Rudder. During the American assault of Omaha and Utah beaches on June 6, 1944, these U.S. Army Rangers scaled those 100-foot cliffs and seized the German artillery pieces that could have fired on the American landing troops at Omaha and Utah beaches. At a high cost of life, they successfully defended against determined German counterattacks. The success of this operation contributed significantly to the outcome of the battle. By mid-1944, German forces manned formidable defenses along the French coast. Of concern to the Allies were German 155mm artillery positions on Point de Hoc. They could wreak havoc on Utah and Omaha beaches. Lieutenant Colonel Rudder, commanding the 2nd Ranger Battalion, received the mission to land at 0630 scaled the 100-foot cliffs, and disabled the German positions. Lieutenant Colonel Max Schneider's 5th Ranger Battalion would follow and reinforce them. June 6, 0550, naval bombardment of Point de Hoc began, including guns of the battleship USS Texas. Three companies of 70 men each of Rudder 2nd Ranger Battalion were to land at Point de Hoc at 0630, but were delayed. Per plan, Schneider's command, plus three companies of the 2nd Rangers, joined the Omaha Beach assault. 0710. Two landing craft were lost, but the Rangers debarked and started up the cliffs. They pressed upward, supported by the destroyer, USS Satterley. One of the Rangers' ducks was disabled by enemy fire and route to Point de Hawk. The engine failed. Three Rangers were casualties, including one killed. 0740. Most of the remaining Rangers reached the top. 0930. The Germans had previously moved the guns southward from their initial prepared positions. Despite fierce resistance, Rangers found and destroyed the guns, pushing outward to cut the highway south of Point de Hoc. After fighting two days, only about 90 Rangers stood when relieved by Schneider's Rangers in the 29th Division from Omaha Beach on 8 June. After the war, Point de Hoc was preserved as a historic site and a monument in honor of the bravery of those who participated in the battle. The monument consists of a simple granite pylon positioned atop a German concrete bunker with tablets at its base inscribed in French and English. This battle-scarred area on the left flank of Omaha Beach remains much as the Rangers left it in 1944. Point de Hoc continues to remind us of the courage and determination of the Allied forces during World War II. Every year, Walk Among Heroes organizes experience to the location, guiding enthusiasts of the Second World War who want to immerse themselves in World War II history. I hope this dive into history has been enlightening. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories as we take a Walk Among Heroes.